Click OK. When I click OK, that should do it. See it right in there. Now what I want to do is I want to, that's just going to turn it off. So I need to delete this. And I want to delete drawing file in elements folders. Okay, because I don't want this folder. Let's cancel this actually. Let's move this here for now. Okay, just so that we can see what's going on. So if I take this and I go delete, and I keep this checked, what should happen when I save, that goes away. Okay, so it holds it all in memory until I save it, and then that goes away. So if I come here to my color palette, what I have are these colors here. Now, the thing with these colors is that what they are actually assigned is not a color number, and I prefer each hue saturated values. Let me protect color. Maybe it's a new default, new texture. So it's given a color ID number. And so what that might do is if you import something from another file with the same color ID, it might be a different color and it'll overwrite it. What I actually want to do here is I want to delete that palette. Okay, so here we have palette libraries. So if I save now, in theory, the palette's still there, and I don't like that. What I'm going to do is create a new palette, new scene palette, or an element palette. Let's do scene palette, palette location, scene element. So it still says this is there, which I don't love. When I save this, it should remove that color palette. But maybe it's not capable of. Well, let's create a new palette here. And we'll just call it um, AC Azure Palette, right? And I'll put this in the scene palettes list and click OK. So there's my AC palette. So if I save here, there it is. AC palette shows up. What I want to do is I want to get rid of that default. And I'm going to create a new color there. And I'm going to give this kind of the blue pencil treatment. And here in our hue, we get to kind of the Let's get rid of red, get rid of green. Now we have a full on blue color desaturated a bit here. So that's gonna add a little green and red back in, but it's all right. Looks like here, maybe I go, yeah, I could go maybe this way, just a bit. Okay, so that's gonna be our, our big blue. All right, so let's go into our node view and you can see here too how I can hear, uh, many ways to do this, but I'll create a drawing, okay? And we can, Name this something unique. Let's do sketch one. Okay, and here's how we extend exposure for scene direction duration. I like to do that so it automatically extends it all the way through the timeline. Uh, bitmap overlay and underlay line art. We can change that here, but this is the uh, way we want. So we're gonna click add and close. Now I've got my sketch one and something that I can do here if I would like. So again, if I come out and I go to Elements. Right, nothing there until I save it. There's my Sketch 01, and it actually, so do we have a palette library? We have nothing in the palette library. So with this selected, let's create an Element Palette. Element Sketch 01. So this is Sketch 01 Palette, maybe E Palette, right? color palette. I click OK. So now I have an element palette and a scene palette. Right? And we get this default black again. We want to get rid of it right away. I'm going to create a new one, uh, which I will do as my blue again. So now if I save, there's my element palette. Right? Sketch a one element palette. Uh, so let's go to my palette library here. Save this. And I'm wondering if this cartoon stage 22 palette just can't go away. So here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to close this. I want to see what happens. I'm going to try. I'm actually going to delete this. And we do want the pencil textures here. I don't need this one because that's just the temporary. All right, so let's try starting up our harmony again. 
Let's see if that pallet comes back. So, scene pallet, ACL pallet, that's all. The other one's gone completely. I've deleted it. Nothing is going to overwrite that, hopefully, at the moment. So, element pallet, sketch one shows me the pallet there. So, I'm going to make sure I have this up above. For now, we'll, we'll leave that go. So, let's kind of scooch this over. We have these things down here now. I don't think I need this on. Oh, if I thought it's the resolution. I'm actually going to leave that off for now. Show alignment guides. See any alignment guides, so I'm not going to worry about. This lets me uh, turn on and off the box selection. This lets, puts current drawing on top. I kind of like doing that. This way I can get my mask. Do like the this kind of windowy thing here. And if I don't like my scene setup. I can do scene settings. That film 4K, I don't like. I can change. So that changes it. That gives us the wider screen, if that's what we want, which is what I want. Uh, I'm going to come to my underlay channel, and you'll see that my color palette actually changed. For the underlay, I lied. It didn't change yet, because I'm going to go to my brush. Or did it change? Let's go back to line and see what happens. Yep, see it changes. So because this is a vector, this is a color that I can change and will change throughout. But if I go to underlay, I'm drawing in bitmap and it won't do the same thing. So and I'm gonna close bitmap color here so I can just see the palette. You edit. So interestingly, this actually defaults to a black, which I don't know where that color would be. If I come to my line art let's see what happens all right so it's going to go def this defaults to blue because from here i can actually change it and it'll update it live which is can be really great for you know if you change your mind about something but delete this drawing object so here is my brush you can see that we are at 85 so let's go to 100 we know so that's 100 percent uh, or we can go fit to view, which is fine too. And this little one right here um, resets everything. So this is drawing in kind of a nice hard. And I have to, for bitmap, I have to double check on there so that now it's giving me this blue line. So I got a little on screen tune boom thing here. So if I select my whole drawing here, I can just click on delete and that takes care of it. So we're currently still in camera mode. And here's the other thing. I have soft lead, fine pencil, mechanical, all this stuff. So I don't actually want soft lead, but I want a texture on it. And I don't think this has a texture. So here we go, colored pencil. Gives us a little colored pencil texture there. Not a lot of line with variation at the moment. And again, this is all bitmap drawing. And it's kind of, I mean, when you zoom out, it's not quite as obvious, but you know, the breakup in there is a little too rough for my. So let's try wax crayon, see if that guesses. That's worse, okay, don't like that. 